Hey, it's Kai, and welcome to another short video about getting started how to use Spit. And in this video, we'd like to dive in a little bit deeper and walk you through one of the larger tools that Bit provides, which is a local development server, a local workbench, if you will, for your components. To run it, we'll start ahead by running the bit start command in our workspace. Uh, what bit start does is it will render each component independently for our workspace and allows us to have a sort of development experience for when we are building our components. Bit adds a lot of added features specifically catering the composition and modularity of our software. And we'll touch a little bit about those capabilities. So you see here a small UI here for Workspace UI. You see both our components and something called my React environment, which we'll touch in the next video. Our first component here, first of all, the overview tab for it, which provides the auto generate documentation. By the way, all of this UI is completely symmetrical for what happens after we share those components with our peers, whether they are developers, product managers, designers, and so on. All of this documentation is completely extracted from your implementation, but if needed, you can add markdown or even MDX files in order to provide more manual documentation inside your components. First of all, we see here what's the component name and package name, because as we saw earlier, each component gets generated with a packaging on the module, so I know exactly how to use it in other components. Compositions are rendered here where each composition will have its own bracket and then a property table generates from our code. The preview tab holds all of our previews and actually has HMR functionality. So for example, here, if I want to render the component that we imported last time, my second component, we can go ahead and do just that and say hello from second. And if we up here, we see that it's really refreshed and we kind of get a line. And you can even visualize your dependency graph for bit. Uh, bit is a build time only tool, so there's no APIs or SDKs you need to use to generate this graph. Bit does static code analysis, understand all the complex dependency structures between your components and renders them for you. Bit even builds an API reference automatically on your component from all functions it find, all type exported, all your const, all your enumerables. Everything will be auto generated. You can even see the implementation of the component and understand the other dependencies. All of this information is kept on each component independently and gets exported and published to the remote UI, which we'll touch on a later stage, on a later video, when we we'll understand how are we sharing components with our peers and how components get reused across projects. Something I actually would like to dive in a little bit deeper is how we can even see this information without diving deep and running dev server. So first of all, in our local workspace, we can run bit list and get the list of all components in our workspace. Here, obviously we have three components and we can run bit show on a particular component. And then bit lists us all the information that is visible through the workspace UI, but in a, a CLI format, we can even pass this to a JSON output, see all the information and pass it for automation, validate different items. We see that uh, what is the component ID, which scope is targeting, the name of the component, environment, the package name, what is the main file, meaning the file that exports everything, all the files in the component, the dead files, uh, the different dependencies listed, whether a dependency is a package or a component, and a lot more information that you can start exploring. We don't necessarily need components to be visual to be able to render them. For example, if you use different utilities, you can just kind of print out how their output is in different formats. And at the end of the day, this tool allows you during your local workspace development uh, to see how components behave. If you want, you can actually run additional dev servers for their additional respected services and plugins if needed. If there are specific plugins you like in other tools, because Bit does not force you to specifically use the Bit workspace UI to manage your components. You can still manage your components and, for example, keep stories for storybook for your components and render them in a different dev server. 
So you can eventually pick and choose the tool that you like. Thank you so much.